everybody. What's going on? Do I like this light? Yeah, it's pretty. Okay. Welcome to Broadway and fashion. No, what are we calling it? I need names. What are we calling this? Let's make this a thing. Um, where? How come I can't see anybody's like reactions to me? Are they? Are they going to yeah. talk to me? Can they say hi? So I know somebody's out there. I feel, I feel very lonely. So I'm in my own. I'm in my house in my office. Oh, there's a heart. One. It's just me and one girl. One. Makes one heart. Like okay. <laughs> Okay, so what are we talking about? We're talking about fashion and and um, singing and I don't know. Okay, there. Okay, I need. Hi, Ellen. Thank you, Helen. You're there. Hello, Adina. Hey, Adina. Luke. Heather. Okay, now we're happening. I was feeling very lonely for a minute there from Canada. I was just in Canada. I was in Toronto. I'm doing a new movie. I'll tell you about that a little later. And I was doing some fittings there. And um, you love the clothing line. Thank you so much. I'm actually wearing it. This is actually my favorite stuff. So this is, um, these are actually my favorite. So this has been around. This is the double gauze. Um, so this is the thing. Can we name some of these? I need to start naming them and giving them my own special signature touch. You know, like I named the jumpsuit was the swing jumpsuit because the swing is my favorite. Um, person in the theater because they work the hardest and they know everybody's track so I felt like that was for my most versatile piece the jumpsuit is it my jumpsuit or the romper I was confused those things the romper is the swing okay so let's name a couple so I need something for this and let's think I wore this and then this tonight I'm on QVC sometime like in the middle of the night um these are the new thing that everybody should buy and honestly every man in my life, not that I have so many, but there are like three in this room right now of all <laughs> of shapes and sizes. Um, love these pants too, so I think they're kind of unisex. But anyway, um, this is like a double gauze, it's kind of matching, and I wore it, I was down in um, Disneyland. Did you anybody see me in that live stream for Epcot? It was the greatest spectacular that you've ever seen. I said that like 12 times live. Um, and I stood in front of the the lagoon near the Italian pavilion and whatever. And um, and I hosted, but I was, it was so hot down there. It was like 90 degrees and humid. And um, I wore this to rehearsal. And I was so surprised at how not sweaty I was, or at least nobody could tell. And it was just breathable and felt airy. And I felt like I still look classy if any fans were there taking pictures of me in rehearsal. Um, Cause that's something I forgot about many a time. Been at rehearsal, just rolled out of bed and then realized it's everywhere. So now I try to look decent at rehearsal. Um, but yeah, and then let me see what else people are saying. Hi Dina, I'm such a huge fan of your songs and Frozen, thank you so much. Um, uh, so incredibly soft. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm like, I really, um, honestly, you guys, a lot of you of your fans, so we're probably like combining here. Maybe some people are fans that know me through my career um, for lots of years, and maybe some people are new that are discovering me through QVC and think I'm this amazing designer, which I'm, you know, I'm trying to step into those shoes a little bit here, but for a while, I really, um, relied on some great stylist kind of people to help me figure out what to wear to all like the big events because I never, I don't know what you are what you were like growing up, but when I was younger, it would take me hours to figure out what to wear and I'd lay everything out the night before in middle school on my bed and, and obsess over it and just it never, it's style and fashion and putting things together. Come in, honey, my husband just came in. Are you taking everyone's order for food? I just wanted to watch. Oh, come in. <laughs> Do you wanna say hi? Um. Come come in really quick just say hi so they don't think I'm pretending and then he just ran like 10 per miles per pretending that you have a husband you mean no <laughs> hi come in, hi Hello. this is Aaron this is my husband um he runs like nine miles a day and uh makes me feel like a lazy piece of poopy but um but he looks good he looks good he's my younger guy he's five years younger than me and he and he's uh because what I'm a Am I allowed to say cougar on QVC? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> anyway, all right, go. I love okay, you. Right. Okay, bye. Um, uh, okay, what am I doing? This is all new. I know I sound like I'm crazy. Don't think I'm pretending. Yeah, I know. 
Erin from Newsies. Honey, they know you from Newsies <laughs> and Mighty Ducks. That was a long time ago. That is a long time ago. I know he's so good, so talented. And I'm going to get him to wear these pants because they're so nice and we're going to go on vacation. We don't know where we're going yet, but um, we're going to go somewhere hot and like decompress for a couple days and I bet and you'll he'll wear linen pants because if I didn't bring give him linen pants then he would probably wear jeans and a bunch of biker boots to a Caribbean island and show up at dinner if I didn't. And, and a black t-shirt. And a black t-shirt, yeah. So we like to do him in a little linen, a nice little sailor stripe, a little something. Anyway, so um, let's get back to, okay, people are really asking about clothes. I'm so excited. I thought you wanted to talk, I thought we were going to talk about like auditions and favorite songs. Can you compare to Double Gauze to another material? I can't really picture what it feels like. Okay, what happens if I... It's like, it's, what is it? It's gauzy, but it's double, so it's not so see-through. So, like, I feel really covered in it, and um, it's, so it feels a little puffier than if it was, like, the sheer kind of gauze. You can grab the white one. Oh, I can grab the white one. Okay, yeah, so you can see. So, see how it's hanging? You can't see through it, but. There's a texture. See? And when I wear it with like a nude bra, you can't see anything. I swear. Um, it has like this puffy texture. Can you see it? And then look at this. This is what's so exciting when you start a new line and everything. And you have your pretty little tag. It makes it feel very real. And this is what I love is the elastic. It's got these little three-quarter sleeves. And, um, and the v-neck, which is good for us ladies who have a bust. Um, so can you see, maybe you can see it better. So these are the pants in white and then, so they're black, white, and then where's the, oh, and then this is really great. Actually, when they print on them, it gets a little like a flatter, it gets rid of the little texture puff, but then they're the softest thing you've ever felt. So, um, I've been living in these. So I wore these, I traveled in these, I've been through, where'd I go? I've been to, um, I took, I went to New York. I took Walker, my son, who's 12. He goes to sleepaway camp on the East Coast. I took him to New York. I got him on the bus. Um, before I got him on the bus, he hung out with his dad for quality time. Then we went, I took him and my father down to Disney World and we did the Epcot thing. Then we flew back. Then Walker hung with dad a little bit more. Then I got him on the bus. Then I flew to Toronto for this new film. All, in, all this time in hot, sticky weather, wearing all of these clothes, traveling and nothing gets wrinkled. I swear I'm not just saying that to you. And I'm someone that just can't be bothered. You know, like I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a messy girl, I'll be honest. So like I roll it up, I put it in my luggage and I pray. And, um, and then I wear whatever's not wrinkled when I get to the hotel. And this stuff has been amazing. And so if you look really chic on the plane, so many of you have bought this apparently, these dresses, which are the fit and flare. Need a good name for this. What are these? What are these? Are these like act one, the act one fit and flare, the finale, the showman's. Oh, that's good, honey. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> the showman's dress. Do you, do you know what the showman's means? Is that little too inside? Showman's means like when you meet somebody and you have a romance, but you meet them um, in, the, in the show that you're doing. And, Whew, it's not good if you don't get along with that person after a while or they dump you. <laughs> Eight shows a week. <laughs> and then you're dumped by the showman's guy. But by the fit and flair showman's. Um, and uh, that's pretty, it's like flirty. So I like that. But let me see if anyone else says the 11 o'clock number dress. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now we're talking. But you have to explain who, to, who wrote that, the 11 o'clock number. You have to explain to everybody that might be new to the... Adina Club here, um, what an 11 o'clock number is. The 11 o'clock number, I believe, <sighs> harkens back to, for whatever reason, back in the day, the plays used to be really long. In order for people not to fall asleep, they'd put on this big belting number, the big show number, and it would come on around 11 o'clock. And that's when all like the big diva singers, am I saying this right, Paul? Or do you, you're like, I don't know. Like it's usually the big number that the lead lady sings or lead guy, I guess. And, um, and, uh, it was just like bringing it home and then there's usually a finale and you're done. So, um, 11 o'clock now is a good one. 
Let's see. Oh, I'm out of breath because I feel like I have to fill up every minute because I'm by myself. I like to have an actual conversation. Thank you. I was on the fence about getting one. Okay, wait, Todd, when they're moving so fast that I can't finish reading what people are saying. Um, Eric with a CH, I love you with a million U's as well. And I like that you spell your name with a CH. Is that Eddie? <laughs> or Eric? Eric. <laughs> it's Eric? It's just Eric? Maybe Eddie likes it with a little pizzazz. Um, my hair looks great. Paul Norton <laughs> did my hair. Um, he did it pretty quickly today, actually. Um, thanks, Paul. It looks good. It's not all mine, but it looks good. Uh, I have to be honest. You all used to write me like, oh, she has the most beautiful hair. And sometimes I felt like I was deceiving you, but it was all my hair for a long time. And then I had a baby. And then did any of you lose this part of your hair a little thinned out? And it's just not the same ever since I had my son. I digress. Should we talk about some more clothes? Okay. The wrap sweaters behind me. The wrap sweaters behind me. Oh, this lady. <laughs> She's so nice. My sister has been wearing this to all these press events we're doing for our uh, children's book that's coming out called Loud Mouse. And um, this is so great. And so many people are wearing it different. Some people put it on over a t-shirt and a tank. Or you can wear it kind of more sexy vibe like this. But it's just... I don't know. I've always had to think. I love, you know, ballerinas, and I always wanted to wear a ballet sweater. And it doesn't look, I don't look like a ballerina in it. I look more like, you know, from the voluptuous Zoptic Lady Club. But I think it works for all body types. It's so, it's so nice. And the fabric is so yummy and comfortable. And everything needs to feel like, honestly, I just want it to feel so, um, 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 comfortable and the workmanship is really beautiful and there's lots of detail but that it should feel so soft that you could practically sleep in it and I want to say there was one fan that wrote me and said because I released some uh, some TikTok thing I put out right and it was like I got in bed in my jumpsuit I got out of bed in my jumpsuit and got back in my jumpsuit and someone was like I really hope she's not getting going to bed in her jumpsuit she wore all day out in a toxic environment <laughs> with like germs everywhere and I want to say don't judge first of all maybe I did but um, um, the point being is that sleep to street is like it's just you don't necessarily have to wear the clothes to bed and wake up in them and take no shower. You can be a very clean person, but they're soft enough that if you were so tired that you've had such a day or you had a couple glasses of wine with your husband or your partner late at night, that if you did happen to fall asleep in them, you'd be super comfortable because the fabrics are so beautiful. And honestly, it's not easy to find affordable fabrics that feel really great, you know, and I've, actually been um, educating myself a lot on trying to understand how to find those fabrics so that they don't cost too much but they still feel really um, great against your body and um, just show so the you, show what the show them the t-shirt oh Gail's telling me what to do this one oh yeah oh this is the t-shirt well this sold like like gangbusters who knew this is like oh I'm getting hearts on a t-shirt I mean it's I have to say though I am proud of this so once again, coverage, but it like hangs really nice. It's not, have some of you bought those t-shirts that stick to your belly and then I feel like my rolls show in them. Um, and also my bra and sometimes it's a little cold. The cold did bother her anyway. So, um, <laughs> but it doesn't bother you with this t-shirt because it's like the best. And, um, and it just has this really cool, uh, what's it called, a schlub? Slug. Oh, I always say schlub. Isn't that a great sales pitch? <laughs> Buy the schlubby t-shirt. <laughs> you feel really great in it. No, it's called a slub, which I just don't think is a very um, a fitting name for it. Because it just, you can dress it up. I've been wearing it with blazers. You can, um, it's got this little fold on the arm. I have the arms long enough to cover my triceps because I'm not big on my triceps. Um, but everybody's been getting this one and I'm, I feel so proud. And all of your reviews are like super cool and... Um, the feedback's been great. Let me see, Paulina, do you have any tips for starting a fashion line? My sister wants to be a fashion designer when she's older. <sighs> tips, surround yourself with amazing people that know what they're doing. Um, get really involved. Um, don't 
just put your name on some things, learn the business and what you don't be afraid to say what you don't know and surround yourself with experts, people that can teach you. Um, and don't compromise, don't compromise. Thanks Gail. Um, let's see, uh, Jen, I fell asleep in the marquee jumpsuit the other day. It's so comfortable. See what I mean? And I'm not judging you and I don't care if you didn't shower for two days, you know, we've been in a pandemic. So some of us, we just don't show anymore. <laughs> Can we see a close-up of your nails? I thought you were gonna say something else. This is QVC. My nails, um, this one's kind of pretty. Vanessa does my nails. Um, what is she, at Vanessa what? I wanna give her a shout out. Nails. Uh, nails by Vanessa, we'll nails, look it up. Nails She's just an nails. artist with the nails. These are my own nails, but with a cover, you know, with like a gel hard thing, cause my nails are so thin. I was a nail biter my whole life, so. Um, Vanessa is nails. Nails with a Z by V, V E E, yeah. And then she puts she put this little like it's kind of like nouveau. Uh, what's it called from the nineteen twenties? That nouveau. Yeah, it would you say with Noir a little nouveau? French? Uh, no. Noir. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's talk about clothes. You know when you walk into a hotel, it's in the twenties, and it's like. Baroque. Black and whites and chandelier. Art Deco. Art Deco. I couldn't think. I'm on. I'm on the spot. Um, that kind of looks Art Deco, doesn't it? All right. Anyway, thanks for the shout out about my nails. Your favorite. If you say Hannah, Hannah Gail, my life will be. F You're my favorite. Oh, Hannah Gail. Is it Gail? Can I just scroll back down to make sure I get it right? Yeah, Hannah Gail. Hi, Hannah. I love you. Thank you for being here with me. Um, uh oh, Spanish. Try you. Aranaha, mihas, costas, comesas, unhas. Is it saying something bad? You see it? B, B E A. It's talking to me in Spanish. You can scratch things with your nails. I can scratch what? Oh, her with her nails? Yes, B. I'm going to catch you. Okay. What's the best advice I've been given? The best advice I've been given is uh, by my mother. Um, and I remember specifically, it was, I was um, nominated for a Tony Award for Wicked. And um, I kept saying, people kept saying, write a speech, write a speech. And I kept saying, I don't wanna write a speech. I don't wanna think about it for two weeks. What if I don't win? And I'd spend all that time. And, um, and she said, what, well, how can it hurt you to just sort of enjoy this moment, live in it, and if you don't win, you'll be upset for like a day and you'll be fine, but you would have spent those these two weeks being a pessimist as opposed to just enjoying this excitement and the celebration of this moment. So that was um, that was some of the best advice. Jonathan Larson, no Deva today. That's a good one. Um, Loving how simple the clothing designs are. <laughs> Can't wait to order a few and have them shipped to Ireland. They just, what does that mean? It's not direct to Ireland. She has to have someone do it for her. Can I do it for her? <laughs> Amelia Rogers, will you take note of that? I'm gonna send her a care package to Ireland until we get this, until Encore is really doing an Encore and it's all over and goes to the next. What? Send, send me a DM. Tava says send me a DM. Um, yeah, I like how basic it is too, honestly, because it fits with everything in the closet and then I'm not trying to get all of you to buy a million things, you know, everything's affordable and it works with a blazer or a jean jacket in your closet or your best pair of jeans. Tonight I'm gonna be um, talking about some jeans that I have and what else are we doing tonight? We're gonna do the cardigan, right? The column dress. And oh, the column dress, yeah. I don't have that here. Yeah, yeah. It's like a tank column dress. It's super chic. And can go over a bathing suit or you could just or you could put some cool long chains on with it and it looks really great to go out to dinner um, Aaron and I went where did we go to see Top Gun the other night went to the movies for the first time for the first time in forever <laughs> QVC's gonna have to pay a license <laughs> sorry QVC I'll pay it um, uh, yeah and I wore that dress um, to the movie theater and then I wear, I bring this everywhere I have to go. This kind of makes me feel, this is probably not a good selling point, but it makes me feel like I'm wearing like something like my my husband or my dad's shirt. It's got that kind of vibe to it, but it's so comfortable and it has this 
double fleece, double sided fleece, which I'm learning uh, about, which makes it, it's like brushed inside. Can you see that? So it's not fleece like where you go skiing. Before I was designing, I thought fleece was one of those big things you wear when you're going skiing. Um, it's this kind of fuzzy thing that makes everything so soft against your skin and it has this great panel. See, it's super chic like this. And I just wear it with everything. So it feels kind of blazery. It comes in navy, and I don't have that here either right now, but the navy is really pretty, a really pretty navy, and it comes in like a, a olive, an olive. Um, I wear it with everything. T-shirt, um, I could wear it like in the dressing room, put on my makeup with more like a roby kind of vibe. I wear it um, just as a throwover, because um, like at the movie, like summertime, you need to be able to layer because things are so air conditioned and I'm a singer and I hate to be freezing cold. So I always bring what Wearing, wearing, wearing my clothes sometimes, does that inspire the idea? <laughs> <laughs> wearing, he's like, he, Aaron said, wearing my clothes inspires you. Not really, honey, since you have one black t-shirt, one pair of black jeans, and a pair of Doc Martens. But, um, although I did bring your, I'm feeling a little fuller these days, so I stole your ripped jeans and I wore them shirts or jeans okay <laughs> that's just because I miss you and I want to smell like you mm. all right um I've been traveling so much uh where am I what's the oh wait how come it didn't move on do I have to let it push oh okay sorry um no I'm feeling like I'm seeing the same thing Tavo and I'm not getting the new people's stuff looking forward to American murder <laughs> hoping for more <laughs> dramas oh how did you hear about that it's like a little indie movie um, yeah, oh, yeah, go. No data today. Oh, I see how it works. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, what did that say about mental health and self care? That's for that's Aaron there. Where I can't find it now. Um, see a sketch of oh, okay. I just stopped there. Way to go broke for these clothes when you ship to Canada. You're so sweet. Please don't go broke. You won't go broke. They're, um, well, hopefully they're, I was going to say they're affordable, but what do I know what's affordable for for whoever? But I'm trying to make them as affordable as possible, so hopefully you won't go broke. Uh, please, any advice for starting in a musical theater career? I'm playing Joanne, but it's like off-Broadway in Brazil. So why are you saying but? That's great. Advice? Just, I don't know how old you are. Is that Anna? Anna in Brazil. Um play Joanne. Oh my gosh, just have fun and connect with your Maureen and, and um, enjoy that song. And um, it was the last song that Jonathan Larson wrote for Rent before he, before we lost him. He, he kept saying he didn't, he didn't like the song he had in that spot for Freddie Walker and myself. And he kept saying, I want to get to know them, get to know their voices, and I'm going to write a song for them. And then he wrote this new song. And he came in and sang it for us at the piano one day and um, changed my life. So just just enjoy it. And, um, and just remember, you love Maureen, even though she infuriates you. Because um, I'm infuriating. <sighs> Utah knows about American... Why are we talking about American murder? This little indie film that hasn't even come out yet. It's very exciting. Um, such a fan of Frozen. I once made a web show called I Frozen on Facebook until Frozen 2 came out. It was about doing lots of trivia games and freezing activities. <laughs> That's Chanel Fuller. What's a freezing activity? Like, what would that be? Like a, like a challenge where you pour the ice over your head? What's a freezing activity? Can you write to me, Ch Chanel? Um... Ship to Brazil, please. Okay, QVC, we got to do Ireland, Brazil. What else? What else are we um, are we do are we talking about? Did I hit everything? Yeah. I did. Okay, I don't see the thing, the menu on the side. Just so you know, it's oh. fine. But anyway, if you're interested in any of this stuff, you can go on Encore.com, right? QVC.com. Uh, QVC Encore by Adina Menzel. Why did I call it Encore by Adina Menzel? Um, because we all deserve our own encore. We don't have to be performers to want our own encore. Um, something tells me you all play a lot of roles in your life and um, you're trying to multitask and hit it out of the park and uh, 
And so I just want you to know I see you and respect you and I love you and you deserve to take an encore once in a while. Um, like what is an encore? An encore is that moment when you complete something that you, for me, when I'm in a show and I've connected with the audience and I feel like they really got me and that we, that I made them feel something and, and this sort of reciprocal energy that's going on and um, you get to stand in the spotlight and take it in one more time because they say encore, they want, you, they want you to stay, they want more of you. Everyone should want more of you. Um, someone thought they were FaceTiming with you. Some, someone yeah. thought they were FaceTiming with me? I was to your live feed while I was folding laundry and my husband came in and asked, are you FaceTiming with Adina? What's happening? I am Faye. Who is that? Uh, Becky. Becky, tell your husband we are FaceTiming together. Um, Maureen, I was, icon was iconic. Look at what I started. Um, what else? Uh, you've seen Frozen about 300 times. Little me was obsessed. I know I'm. it's like a gift and a curse. I know the parents want to hate me. Um, but it's also you could press the song on and maybe your kid stops crying so you like me. So you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do with me. Um, Melissa says thank you for including plus sizes. Oh, yeah. Plus sizes? Well... Yeah, I just wanted the line to be inclusive for everyone. You know, oh, I've been to some um, worst feeling ever. Well, I've been, I've just been to some photo shoots where the stylists show up and they have like a rack of clothes and they're all sample sizes. And then they, they you get into the clothes and they're like, it's okay, it'll look beautiful. And they put this huge clamp on your back and like suck you into this thing. And they're like, they'll never see the back. and then, and you're like, well, but I feel like crap. You know, I want to feel good about myself. How can I feel good with the photographer taking pictures of me if the whole back is open, you know? And it's, it's just so uncool. And so I just want everyone to feel, you know, to just love their curves. And I go up and down all the time. <laughs> I'm looking at my husband because he's a bad habit with my uh, stuff about my weight. But, um... Um, so I just want everyone to feel good. And then there's petites too, right? There's been a lot of petite sales with petites, which is great, which means maybe, um, we're getting a wide demographic of people and sizes and ages. Um, so you're making me look good with QVC. Thank you, everybody. Um, what else? Trying to support your new endeavor. The clothes are, clothes are quality and fun. Oh, phew. I thought you were going to say I'm trying to support you, but... You just, um, I can't stand you. <laughs> oh my God. And someone just wrote some mental health tips. And there I am just being self-deprecating and putting myself down on a live stream. Uh, mental health tips. I try not to, I'm trying to tell myself not to apologize too much all the time. I think, especially as women, we say we're sorry a lot. Um, it's really hard. Notice how many times you say, oh, I'm sorry. Or is it okay if I, how many times do you apologize? Um, mental health tips. Uh, don't be ashamed if you want to go to a therapist. I, I have gone to a therapist many times in my life. It's very helpful. Um, my husband is a therapist. <laughs> um, I, uh, I believe in being vulnerable and letting people in. People want to help you and people want to be there for you. And the more you hold it in, the more it manifests itself in lots of anxiety. And so um, there's no way around it really without just sort of confiding in the people that love you. And um, what else, honey? What would you say? Um, Putting him on the spot. Yeah, I think, he's, uh, the, the, the instinct is to uh, the know, instinct min min minimize the positive is and to minimize the, the positive and magnify the negative. Right. You know, and Paul's always telling me, when you go on tonight, can you not say sorry? Can you just be <laughs> confident? Can you own the fact that you're a designer and you're doing lots of cool things? I always feel like I have to apologize for myself, of make myself smaller in order for people to to um, see me. And it's just completely the opposite because it's the times where I actually took a step into the light and said, screw it, I'm going to be my best self. And People love me. I'm actually more, I think I'm a little more annoying when I apologize all the time. It gets on people's nerves. Um, New Zealand, Gail, let's go. Tell QVC. We got to do New Zealand, Ireland, and Brazil. 
And that's a great tour. Maybe I should just go on tour, do my music, and then we can sell some merch. I love you so much. You're the best, Juliana. I love you too. Um, um, is that the same B from Brazil saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, oh, my Little Island performance on Saturday. That was fun. That was for Pride. Um, uh, I was not wearing my Encore jeans. I was wearing some crazy jeans that were bedazzled with the heaviest stones all over them so I could have like a rainbow Pride vibe. And they kept falling off everywhere I was going and they were so heavy and I didn't wear a belt. So as I was singing, I felt like my butt was hanging out. Um, I can't find if then to watch anywhere. Do you know something about it? Some streaming or some link? No, because it was just a play. That's the thing about theater. You got to get in there and see it live. And um, no, we didn't stream it. We didn't film it. So um, there's maybe at Lincoln Center. Maybe did we document it for Lincoln Center? I'm not really sure. But that was one of my favorite shows to do. Um, I always say because I was going through some personal stuff in my life that was sort of mirrored in in that show and it was for people that don't know it was about a woman wearing this amazing cardigan <laughs> and selling these beautiful guys clothes <laughs> no but it was like um a, a woman at a crossroads you know and then you follow both paths kind of like a sliding doors thing and um and the cast and i were super close and i just they helped me and i just felt like that was a time where my art and creativity really saved me so thank you for um appreciating that and i think maybe lincoln center has a film of it um or just the wreck the album's really cool the album i'm proud of uh when can we expect some new music i've been working on some new music i have to say and it might be very danceable um that's all i'm gonna say and um i might travel and put it out there and do some really fun fun concerts, um, but I can't really say much more. But I have been working on new music with some really great people. Um, what else? Marco Polo, what? On my Frozen web show, we played cold games like Freeze and Marco Polo. <laughs> Chanel, what are you talking about? Um, are we good on time? Am I okay? 15 more minutes? Maybe I'll just take a breath. <laughs> you speak in Spanish, oh God. I know a little Italian. Um, the blonde, the blonde was so iconic. You liked my blonde hair? Is that what you're talking about? Jen, I agree with Shayla. You like my blonde hair. I don't know. I felt like, no offense to Jessica Simpson, but I felt like I looked like I was trying to be Jessica Simpson when I had blonde hair. It looked cool like if it was short, but then when I put on a little weight and then with my square jaw and short blonde hair, it just wasn't working for me. Um, Haven, the fact that Adina also struggles with confidence makes me feel like it's so relatable. Thank you. I mean, come on. We all struggle with confidence. We're all just faking it till we make it. That was the advice. What's the best advice? Well, you fake it till you make it, which is not, doesn't sound like very good role model advice, but I've told the story before that, um, I was doing Wicked and I was feeling really badly one day and, I just didn't feel like I could get out there and um, be really confident. And I just didn't know how I was going to get out there and get through it. I was just having the worst day. And so I told myself, um, and I usually tell young people, you know, to be yourself, obviously, and that that's to celebrate your uniqueness. But this particular day, I felt like I wanted to emulate someone that I looked up to. So I told myself, if Glenn Close was here today and she was playing Alphaba in the green makeup, how would she get through it today? And I just imagined her and the whole show it was like one of my best shows. I held for every applause, every joke line, I held notes longer. I was just like, Glenn Close would not feel like she has to run off the stage and hide. She would just take in, in the moment and be a star. So that's helpful sometimes to sort of, I always say emulate, don't copy, just emulate people. And that's how you learn without losing yourself and compromising your own identity. Um, can you send me a kiss? This is B again. B, yeah. I love you. Mwah. Love you so much from Brazil. Um, who else? 
Um, what else should we talk about? Five years old, she's a huge fan. I have a sister that's five. This is Fernanda. Um, can you say hi to Hanada? Is that right? Hi, Hanada. Did I say it right? The R is like a huh. <laughs> um, Tavo, anybody else? I met Jen Clella the other night. She's super cool. She's cool. She's one of our, our buddies. She's one of the people in If Then that is one of my best friends. Sings uh, her butt off. Melis yeah. is asking your favorite ice cream flavor. My favorite ice cream flavor is Rocky Road. Um, which has like marshmallows in it. Um, um, what else? Yes, Scott? We're back on the 11 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> I'm supposed to say oh. that I'm back on the QVC 11 o'clock Pacific, Pacific time. Yep. 2 a.m. East Coast time. Who knew that people love to shop at 2 a.m.? It's true, actually. I'm a late night because I'm a theater girl, so I'm always awake late night. No matter what happened all day, no matter how early I'm, I have to get up with my son. I just can't get to bed um, early. So uh, that would be me, a late night shopper. So join me tonight as I um, go on QVC and talk about this line that I'm really excited about. Um, did I talk about this yet, Gail? So this is the stripe, did I do the stripes yet? So this is the same vibe as this. So if you got the white t-shirt and you're really digging it, which you sent me all these amazing reviews um, about the fabrics that we're using and everything, this is like a new uh, iteration. And this will be really cool for summer. Really cute with jeans. Um, or even if you put this on with, your white gauze. Um, what else? Should we sing a song? <laughs> Should we do a dance? Um, if I lean over, I might. I don't want to reveal my whole bosom. Um, Five hundred twenty-five thousand minutes. What are you talking about, though? Blondina was the moment. <laughs> oh my God, I'm snorting. Blondina, that was a lot of, a lot of blonde. Bring the new tour to New Zealand. Honey, can we go to New Zealand on yes. vacation? We haven't been. I love your song, At This Table. It's so sensational. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm very proud of that song. Um, it's like the fame song that has think that has the uh Alice is saying, What are you talking about, Alice? Uh the fame song that has the I N E think of Meryl Streep? What? I'm not sure what that means. I'm sure it's very important. I just don't know what it means, think of Meryl Streep. Uh I'm really insecure in my body. I'm so small for my age. Thank you for being so real. Jade. I see you. We love Abby loves to shop late night on the East Coast. She know. does? Yeah. Abby shops late night on the East Coast. Abby, will you be there with me at two in the morning? I'm gonna do some quick changes too, because I have to get through I have to get through like what do we do? Like like ten items in how much time do we have? An hour? If you think I'm kind of amped up right now, imagine what I have to be. <laughs> I came home from um Toronto and Aaron had filled the fridge with um they do Coke Zero with coffee now? Yeah. Who came up with this? Coke Maybe that's why coke. I'm acting like this, because I did take a couple of sips. Before. Coke with dark roast coffee. Coke with dark roast coffee? Yeah. That should not. That should be illegal. <laughs> but maybe I'll be on that tonight. What was that thing? <laughs> Colo Loco? Colo Coco Loco? What? Like Cola Loco? Loco. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah it's like red bull or something eric eric says you have very good taste in clothing and we welcome you to the qvc family oh thank you eric eric says i have very good taste in clothing and he welcomes me to the qvc family everyone's been super nice and sweet to me at the qvc family um this host that i'm on with tonight it feels like sister to me she grew up in queens rosina is her name she's um I met, I talked to her this morning and told her about the line and the clothes and she just wanted me to feel comfortable. So we got on the phone this morning, which was really great. And, um, I just feel like I've known her my whole life, kind of grew up in a similar area, similar background. 
Um, so I'm excited. These hosts are amazing. I don't know how they do what they do. Um, but I am there trying to talk about clothes and be myself and <laughs> connect with all of you. And, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's been fun. It's like flexing a different kind of muscle for me though. Um, but it's cool. I just, I have to adhere to the time and then I have to do these quick changes. So I, it brings, it kind of triggers me for like quick changes that we used to do in different shows. I remember Chris and Shannon did a nine second quick change for Glinda and she has to go off from her bubble dress and come right back on on the luggage in her in her shiz dress. And that's literally timed into nine seconds. It's crazy. And then what was mine? Mine was I had to run around for no good deed, take this thing off, run down, go down these stairs with my bad knee, come back up into the smoke. That was probably like 12 seconds or something. And then sing an 11 o'clock number and actually have some air in my diaphragm to do it. Um, so tonight I'm gonna try some quick changes. <laughs> Maybe you can time me, see what my quickest quick change would be. It's all about the choreography. Shout out to Joby Horgan, who's my dresser for many, many, many years. It's all about the choreography of the quick change. So like, I don't have any skirts right here. Well, yeah, here. So if this is a quick change, does the encore audience really care about this? Um, she would probably put it on the uh, floor, right, Gail? Mm -hmm. Like first she'd lay something nice so she, so she doesn't mess up and get the get dust on the garment. And then usually lay a dress out like, like a big circle on the floor that you could step into and you literally choreograph. Okay, you're gonna come off stage. You're gonna kick off your heels. You're gonna step into the thing, into the, into the circle of the dress. You pull up the dress and while you're doing that, someone is putting on the other thing or the jacket or whatever or swishing your wig. And, and then you just go on out there and you hope that you still got clothes on. But as some of my fans know, there have been one or two times where I went out and had a little under boob showing because we didn't quite get it right. It was uh, Radio City and Joby wanted to kill me because I rushed her and I didn't let her give me a second look over and I went out and all the fans were like, Adina, your boss is here. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even know. That was horrible. I only have one more minute. One and a half minutes. Um, what else? Tour in the Philippines. Philippines, one of the best concerts I ever had was in the Philippines. Um, that was, uh, amazing. We went to Korea, Japan, Philippines. We were just talking about that with Walker. And we were reminiscing that he, we went to a toy store and we bought him, um, like a big, um, uh, uh sword because he was into uh, Kung Fu and karate and, and all this stuff. And then, um, there were some paparazzi people in the hotel at the Philippines and he came out and he said, no pictures of that. And he starts swiping at these people's cameras with this fake sword and, um, scared them. But here's my little bodyguard. Um, I have to wrap it up. I'm having so much fun talking. Keep going. I can keep going. Yeah. Plus what's this about Alana Morissette? Please collaborate with Alana Morissette so I can die happy. Yeah, that would be nice for me. I would love to collaborate with Alana Smorissette. If you, let's put that out into the universe. Ask me about your Twitter Q&As. My tour Q&As? Twitter, Twitter, Q Twitter Q and A's. what about them? They used to do it with them. I haven't done Twitter Q&As, but this is like doing it. Exactly. And just QVC is allowing me to use their platform, which is very nice. Um, okay, I'll do those too. And then we asked recently, we're gonna get back to people about their song requests. Exactly. But I'm not singing the whole song. I'm just gonna sing a few lines. <laughs> Read song. It's 3 a.m. in the Netherlands. Yes, my good friend Glenn lives in Rotterdam. Um, got a snowflake tattoo because of you, Elsa and Frozen. Would you also bring your new tour here? Having Yeah, that's great. What kind of snowflake is it? That sounds like a pretty tattoo. All right, I have to wrap it up. Have you seen or heard about which way to the stage? Yes, I have. I was there to go see it, and then they all got COVID that week, and they had to shut down. It's horrible. But um, I was very, look at the, the iPad's about to fall off the thing. Um, can you please say my name? Okay, you're writing it to me phonetically. As, as Cadelia, as Cadelia, as Cadelia. The wickedly talented, as Cadelia. <laughs> See, he didn't read his phonetics when he said my name. Um, I saw a snowflake tattoo. Oh, I read that already. Okay, well, I guess I should wrap it up because I gotta go. Um, 
get ready for this thing tonight. Are you, can you guys come and hang out with me at 11 a.m. or, I mean, 11 p.m. It's tonight here in the Pacific, 2 a.m. This must be wherever it is, central time, if you're awake. Um, it'd make me look good if you kind of come over and say hi. Um, let's see, big fan, you got some, oh, to Wales on your next tour. I was just in Wales writing music. That's so funny you said that. And it was like a spontaneous thing. I was in London, I forget why, and I was songwriting. And then one of the producers we wanted to work with an extra day, but he said, I have to be back to pick up my daughter at school. If you guys want to come to Wales, we can use my home studio. And we went to Wales. It's so funny you said that, so definitely. All right, let's end on this. Have you ever seen, um, hi, Dina, Carl here. Big fan of you since 2018. Can I just say, only 2018? That's not long enough, Carl, unless you're four years old. Can I just say you're the most wickedly talented Broadway queen of all time? Love to get a shout out. All right, I'm giving you a shout out, but you're a little late to the to the party call. <laughs> um, I'm reading your book, Voice Lessons and Loving It. That's not my book. That's my sister wrote that book about her relationship, and it's beautiful. And um, thank you for supporting and reading it. Um, Okay, I guess I have to say goodbye. See you at 11 p.m. Pacific time. I will try to do the fastest quick change that's ever been recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records. Fastest than any Bernadette Peters or Patti LaPone or anybody or, or me or Adina. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. This is, you've been in my little studio in my house. I've been doing this from my house and um, I love all of you. Thanks for the support and allowing me to move into this part of my life and try something new that's um, been really exciting for me. And um, and I love all of you and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Do I go?